showtime. So all our celebrities and Bobby are long gone and we've got a whole new set of normal <laughs> housemates to play with. These new lot are just like me and you. Well, not so much like me. I'm not into key, I'm not keen into, you know, being weed on and stuff. That's that's not my thing. Uh, but I'm, but they're pretty much like like us. So our first team captain lasted 11 weeks in the house with Dave the Monk, but only lasted 3 days with Nikki Graham. So you can be popular and clever. It's Josie Gibson. Yeah! Team captain is everyone's favourite yeah. wannabe, who is proving equally popular with uh, new and house, uh, new and old housemates alike. He's Mr. Holy Moly. It's Jamie E. Yeah. So, Josie, who is this delicious beefcake beside you tonight? Mr. P. <clears throat> My yeah, Mr. P. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hello, Bubba. Beautiful. Oh, no, oh. sorry. <laughs> But um, my teammate is Mr. Paparazzi. He's a bit of a celebrity, a bit of an entrepreneur. He's best mates with Simon Cowell and even Piers Morgan. I don't know who'd want to do that, but he did. Um, it's Mr. Paparazzi himself. It's Diane, Darren Lyon. Hey, Mr. P. Don't forget Mr. P. Oh, Mr. P. I've got to see Mr. Diana P. Ross. Is that a second? Uh, and Jamie, who are you bringing to the party this week? Well, my teammate found fame with an atomic kitten, but later formed an even greater band named Keller. Oh, yeah. Why be tired if there's only 19 year olds in the audience tonight because she will destroy you. <laughs> it's Kerry Katona! At the end of the show, one team will be leaving with a mystery money can't buy star prize item taken directly from the Big Brother house. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So if we want to get home tonight, we best get started. It's only been 50 hours since our brand new housemates trotted down those stairs, brimming with hormones and takeaway Nando's, only to be met by the ultimate playmate. They got the right pan this time, don't worry. Uh, let's recap their initial desperate attempts to secure their names in our collective consciousness. I love animals, but my willy's really small. Why would you want to have sex with a No, it's something you have. Dolphins are the only other animal on the planet that have sex for fun. Shut up. Who's the other one? Oh my goodness. I'm trying to see you as Pam Ramson, but all I see is you. Some days I think, oh my god, what a what, what wobble. So I wake up in the morning, I stick on a monkey costume. Have you done. ever weed on anybody? Not deliberately. Hi! Hi. Honestly, Pamela, Pamela you, you have got to check out to monkey work. Gone, yeah, sure. Shall I moisturise them later for you? Fuck off! I don't even know who I I don't think there is a... Could we laugh here? So who's George Ramsey? Am I turning you on at all? I'm going to give them the ride of their lives. I'm going to leave a skid mark on every one of them. bunch. So Josie, how do you think the housemates are settling in? I think they're a bit ahead of their time, to be quite honest. I can't believe they're settling in that much. They want arguments and everything already. And I definitely <laughs> think there's going to be a bit of sexy time in the house this oh, year. Oh, do you think? Who, yeah. who do you think that might be between? Oh, whoever. They're all fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. They're, they're all, they are quite a sexy bunch, aren't they? Oh, yeah, there's not one bad-looking housemate, is there? Who would you oh, maybe yeah, have a bounce chicka wow wow chicka wow wow with a bit of sexy time? Well, do you know what I mean? Times are hard these days, probably all of them. <laughs> oh, really? All of them? Good. It's best to be honest. Uh, Jamie, first impressions? Uh, I think they're all. I think they're all a bit overawed at the moment. I mm -hmm. think uh, they went in being all bolshy and gobby, and I think the 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 situation has just over overtaken them a bit. They're yeah. Really con Jay in particular, who was so mouthy and so. Outrageous in the interview pre. He's pre still pretty, going in. pretty outrageous and pretty no, loud. That was nothing compared uh, to. Kerry, do you think you'd get on with this lot? Who do you think you'd like? Uh, to be honest with uh, you, Mr. P, you'll get your turn. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I actually, um, Mark. Mark. Yes. Mark. Not because of the name Mark, because you all like that name. No, no <laughs> connotations. That's uh, a good old road. Okay, right. Josie and Darren, for five points, here's your big question uh, that's happened in the last 50 hours, to be precise. Uh, in a getting to know you chat on the first night, which housemate admitted to being, uh, to having banged a lot of Welsh chicks? I knew this one. I think I knew this one. Do you know this no. one? No. Uh, Jay. Okay, Jay. You sure? Because he's, yeah. he's banged a lot of chickens, chicks. Oh, what? what? You're about. OK, yeah. well, yeah. let's see if that theory's right. <laughs> yeah. On holiday in Turkey, I've banged a lot of Welsh chicks. Oh. A lot of different chicks, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Question. It was actually Arden who uh, who's banged a lot of chicks, not just the Welsh. Uh, do you think that he thought Jay was Welsh because he was trying to bond with him, and he was like, "Don't you worry, I've banged a lot of Welsh chicks." It's actually from Newcastle, but 
Yeah. I don't think he thought just that. Just totally no. confused. No, I don't think he was just trying to show off. Do you think? Yeah. Uh, what do you think of him, Darren? What do you think about Arden? I think he's all right. I mean, my favourites at the moment, Aaron and Mark, actually. And, and, and I think Louise is going to do really well in the house. But Aaron is taking the cake at the moment. Mm. You've, he's oh. quite funny. He's you, quite funny. You've met Mark, though, haven't you, Josie? You and Mark go way back. I oh, oh yeah, I met, I met Mark when I was, went down to interview the, at the auditions. Right. Yeah, and um, I don't know if it was him or his mate he asked me out. Oh, right. Yeah. So there might be, yeah. might be some out-of-house romance. Well, you either got it or you want, Alice. You I, know what I mean? It's true, it's true. <laughs> and you definitely do. OK, Jamie and Kerry, for five points, here's your big question. Uh, which housemate described Pamela Anderson as similar to me? Not to me, to her. Um, it was, uh... It's not a pub quiz, you don't have to whisper. <laughs> Can, do you think it's Tashi? I think so. I think Harry's just going shh, 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 sound who? like they're deliberating. Convinced. If you're convinced. Well, I, I've not really watched it. So who you think, who... <laughs> <laughs> not done their homework. Um, uh, who are you Tasha. leaning towards? Well, if you think it's Tashi, I'm happy to go with your... What makes you think it's Tashi, Harry? <laughs> infinite knowledge of this new series. Because, um, um... Just guessing. You're just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's see if you're right. I'm going to say, she just seems so normal. She is normal. Quite, I would say, similar to me. <laughs> I've, been, I've been dealt the joker again, Unfortunately, haven't I, Unfortunately, you don't get the points. It was heaven. <laughs> They're very, very similar. I'm sure, I'm sure you'd agree. Uh, what do we think of heaven? Heaven, uh, she's... Am I'm I doing like, the face. She's properly mental. <laughs> right. Yeah. As I said, I think it was last night, she, when I spoke to her, she just she spent half an hour talking to me about Erica Badu healing people's wounds with, in, with incense. Wounds, yeah. Wounds is not probably like first meeting uh, topic of conversation. No. Uh, she's a big character, Darren. Do you think you get on? Oh, look, I, no, I don't think we get on, but I think she's going to be a great housemate. Do you I think, think she'll she's be good something... entertainment? Yeah, she's going to be great entertainment. She's going to be a lot of fun in the house and a lot of craziness and a lot of do da do da A bit like... Tara, a bit kooky. OK. Do you think you were a good housemate because you were a big personality? I have no idea. I, I, all I was worried about was whether the public thought I was a good housemate. I did all right. You I did. came out of it pretty proud. What did the man, public actually. think? What did the yes, public see, think, guys? What do we think? Mr P voted. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so do you think she'll last, though, or do you think she'll kind of ruffle some fe feathers? No, she's not, definitely no going to last. People are going to keep her in the house for the very fact she's wearing gold capes already and she's complete and utter bonkers. Well, Aaron, Anton and Harry have already been slagging her off uh, for wanting to be Prime Minister Ooh. of the World. Uh, do we think there's well, an intellectual cool. divide going on in the house? Huge intellectual divide, but I mean, characters make this show work really well, and she's going to be a great character, and you need the kookiness in it. Don't you, Kerry? What are you talking to me for? My ears on Tara Reid! Do you think she'd make a good uh, king slash prime minister of the world? Uh, God help us if she is. I think, I think, I think actually Dan's wrong. I think Aaron and Harry aren't doing themselves any favours in their kind of... Uh, a bit early point, for bitching, point. isn't yeah, it? A little I, bit I, early. I think, I think they're setting their stall out a bit early and coming across as a bit pompous. Yeah, well, we've got a, a cracking Just panel like tonight yourself. who tell us what they, told us what oh, they God. thought. Uh, the pick of this year's Celebrity Big Brother. But let's see if we've saved any money for tonight's glamorous assistant. Please welcome tonight's score. She will always be remembered for sucking your eggs and Freddy Fisher's face off during Big Brother 9. And when she's not being a professional boxer, she enjoys losing a million pounds on a rival game show. It's Russia's finest export, Angel. Angel! Angel of mine, welcome to the show. How are you, my darling? Thank you very much. I'm great. I'm better than ever and very happy to be here. Good. Don't trip. Don't trip. <laughs> be careful. Is it safe to say if you'd won that million, you wouldn't be with us tonight? No, I'll be, you know, I'll be here all the time. It's great to be on TV. <laughs> You're losing or winning. Doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. You'll be here all the time, day and night. So what are the scores, please, Angel? Right now, it's a draw! Oh! That sounds exciting, although there are no points to speak of. Right. Teams, I want you to take a look at this picture and spend the commercial break creating a caption that is both amusing and doesn't involve lengthy legal proceedings. Jamie, uh, something better than housemates are distracted by Tara Reid's flight as she tries to get away from Darren as far, as far as possible. See you Thank in God a minute. <laughs> into cheap, exploitative, lowest common denominator entertainment. Well, that's our goal anyway. Uh, before the break, I showed you this picture. What twisted filth has it elicited? Well, some internet folk have had a bash. Bevan Thomas sent in, 
Arden says to Alex, yeah, that's one of the many birds I've had. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, Darren, this should be right up your street. What have you come up with? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Mr. Pepperotti in gold shorts, shorts and that ridiculous pink dressing gown. Oh. What about you, young Josie? Oh, good God, is that some... Mr. P, it's my turn. <laughs> He's an attention hogging yeah. the court. Oh, good God, is that some of the old celebrity Big Brother Ice mates? I as a kite again? <laughs> well, we never know. We might get sued for that. We might, we might. I did warn you. Okay. <laughs> Jamie and Kerry, uh, what volivant of amusement have you rustled up? Well, I think Alex is saying, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a twat sat next to me in a cape. <laughs> Fair enough. Jamie? Uh, Beat that one. <laughs> Please Arden. don't. <laughs> it was it? It was Arden and uh, Maisie. Arden, wasn't it? Arden Alex. Alex. Arden and Alex are uh, amazed to see when I can't remember what I was going to say. Arden and Alex are amazed to see when Jay had his first wank. Oh wow! Okay, I'm glad that Team Jamie kept it clean. Uh, it's a tough call, but I do actually think the points have to go to Team Jamie. I really Yay! liked Perry. Perry's was a good one. Uh, so Angel. Angel, my love, red or black? Sorry, no, that's the wrong show. Um, what are the scores? Okay, Josie, zero, and Jamie taking zero. Yes. Wow. On to our next round now. Now, life in the house isn't just all saunering with the stars of a beach-based drama. No, sometimes it can be as tedious as living with 14 randoms if you're a Hollywood movie star. But we here at Bit on the Side believe every moment in the house should be cherished like a newborn baby. <laughs> Watch this clip on the face of it quite dull, but the devil is in the detail. Team Watch it carefully because there will be questions afterwards. Oh, and please try not to get distracted by Carol Vincent. She's just doing her usual Sunday workout. Jeez, run VT. Looking good, Carol. So supple, so very supple. There's a shimmy happening. How are you watching this? There's so much to look at and so little time. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Duchess of Distraction, Don't Carol Vincent. Yeah. Teams, did you keep your eyes on the prize or were you preoccupied by Carol's globes? Fingers on buzzers, teams. Five points for a right answer. Okay, which housemate walks past the kitchen? Fuck a dog. Team Jamie. <laughs> Heaven. The answer was Louise. Oh. How many cups are there on the work surface? Fuck a dog. Team Jamie. Eight. Correct. Who pours water from the kettle? Fuck a dog. I won't. <laughs> Team Jamie. Uh, it was uh, Tom. Correct. Which housemate is the first to drink? Fuck a dog. Kerry, I've told you my answer. I won't. Uh, which, what's the answer? Was it Louise? It was Faye. Faye. Uh, which housemate yawns? I should have been dead a number oh, of times. Oh, finally. Team Jamie. <laughs> Uh, it was um, Aaron. It was Harry. Oh, Harry uh, I what said colour Harry. t-shirt is Mark wearing? I should have been dead a number Team of Jay times. Team Dark blue. It was yellow. Oh, what is Faye pouring? Fuck her dark. Team Jamie. Oh, Correct. Very observant. So Which hand does Tom stir his drink Fuck with? Dark. Team Left. Jamie. Right. Correct. Left. Left. Okay. I'm going to take the first answer. 50-50 <laughs> <laughs> chance. How does Tom wear his hair? Fuck her dark. Oh, just, a, I, just all over the fucking I know you're not. It was like in a pony bun. Uh, pony bun. I'm going to give it to you. It's pony a ponytail. Yes, yeah. um, this is incredible. Clearly, Carol was no distraction for you. Uh, what colour is the plastic bag by the sink? I should have been dead a number of times. It's true. <laughs> Tame Jason. Should. What, Darren? What was that? Huh? What was it? Goat? White. It was pink. That's your favourite colour. Uh, uh, which housemate has still got their VIP wristband on? Heaven. Are you I should sure? Have been dead a I'm going to pass time. it over. Don't leave me. Are we on you? Ooh, and that familiar noise means that time is up. Uh, give us the scores, please, Angel, my darling. Okay, Josie still remains zero, and Jamie going to 30! Yeah! Yeah! The Katona is a machine. Uh, now, this week, 
week, we are swapping headlines for inspirational quotes. Tashi, the self-confessed quote lover, has already impressed me with her philosophical musings. Each team gets a set of four quotes, but which one did not pour from Tashi's mouth? Josie and Darren, here are yours. Don't judge a tiger by its stripes. Everyone is a friend in life, and it's only a matter of time before they're not a stranger anymore. Aim for the stars. If you never make it, at least you'll be among them. In a world full of deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. All, I think you agree, very deep and uh, very inspiring. But which one didn't she say? No, you, you, you. No, you do it. She's no, a guru. She's a guru four. of all things oh, theology think? and philosophy. What do you think, Mr. P? <laughs> what does Mr. P say? Um, I, no, what do you what, say? I've seen a change in him since hearing them all. Don't He's judge. moved. I, I don't. Uh, I, I reckon she would say something like number one. Which one is not hers? Remember. Number four. Number four. You're thinking number yeah, four. Number well, let's four. see if you're right. In a world full of deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. Indeed, in a world full of deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. Uh, he, she didn't actually say it. It was Anton who said that, um, which is where George Orwell got it from. So, no. Well done. Points. Yeah. 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 Uh, Jamie and Kerry, here is your set. I'm a love maker, not a love matcher. I don't know what the latter is, but I'm glad she's not one. The next one is look forward to the future as much as you miss the past. Is that, I'm welling up, that one's quite sad. I it's like nice. that one. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's yours. Courage is fear that has said its prayers. That sounds like something Arnie Schwarzenegger might say. Yeah. It's nice, it's nice. What's <laughs> all the Pope. Or the Pope, the Pope yes. indeed. Yeah, he talks not? about prayers a lot. <laughs> Happiness is like a butterfly. The more you chase it, the more it eludes you. Oh, it's so sad, so very sad. But which one didn't she say? They're all proper Christmas cracker kind of platitudes, Joke aren't they? things, aren't they? Uh, what is a love matcher, Kerry? Are you, are you a love matcher? You've been a love maker many, many times in your life. Are you a love matcher? <laughs> I don't want to know how you know that. Um, I'm neither, to be honest. What is neither a love worked matcher? out, to be honest. Uh, ask me divorce lawyers. Um, <laughs> We well, can't, let's keep it we cheery, can't for yeah. legal reasons. <laughs> I think, uh, I think... Look forward look to the for, future like as one. much look as he missed the past. No, does, is that something that rings true with you? It does with me, but I can't see her saying it, could you? No. She's quite young. I'm, I'm going to go with you. Could she, How old is she? Young. She's, They're all young. She's, she's <laughs> literally young. under 30. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's anywhere between 1 and 30. So, courage uh, is fear that has said its prayers. No, I, a nice yeah, religious I, I, one there. I, I'm going to go with that one because she doesn't really look the religious type. What do you Ooh. think? Is that religious? She's, she's saying she looks slutty. Uh, so which one is not her, remember? <laughs> I'm going to lose this, this one with you because I killed the last round. You no, you... Shit. Yeah, what's shit? Uh, happiness yeah, is like let's... a butterfly. The more you chase, the more it is. They're enjoying them so okay, much. They don't want an with... answer. What do you want to go with? Three? If you say so. Let's go with three. Let's find out if you're yeah. right. Courage is fear that has said its prayers. Bravo! Wow, we got, we got there in the end. We got there in the end. Uh, courage is fear that has said its prayers. That's actually a quote from Jay's forearm. Mm, very deep. Uh, Angel, at the end of that round, how are we doing? Okay, Josie doing good. It's £10. That's not good. Pounds? It's £10. Pounds. <laughs> and Jamie because points mean better. pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, thank you, Angel. After the triumph of last week's makeover challenge, we thought we'd give it another go, basically to get it right this time. Uh, this week, the housemates have got to know an icon of our generation, Ms. Pammy Anderson. And what better way to show our respect than to get some people she's never met to recre recreate her likeness on some frail pensioners. Please welcome Peter and David. Together, they are peed. Okay. Each pensioner has a bucket of items collected after, after Kerry, Darren and their ilk left the bungalow. Teams, please take your positions. Uh, feel free to, uh, to, to get used to the environment, uh, get, used, get used to your model. Uh, Mr P is going too, so they've got a slight advantage. Okay, teams. Yeah, you may recognise these figures uh, from Paris Fashion Week last year. Now, teams, feel free to use this stuff to dress your senior citizen and make them look like the 40-plus centrefold. You have from now to the end of the commercial break to turn your gilfs into milfs. Teams, away you go. Uh, yes, right, come on. Okay. We're going to make him into Pamela Anderson, uh, Barb Wire. Did anyone... No, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
we're going to use that. Barbed wire. Did anyone ever see barbed wire? Yeah. It's your uncut version. Yeah. <laughs> right, team. Kerry, talk me through what is what is going on down there. Well, um, we need a bus to That's someone's granddad. He isn't actually. No, no, Pat. Oh. Oh, no, Kerry, yeah, you yeah, know. Uh, that, that, that's a big reveal afterwards, actually. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, what is no, going on, Kerry? No, I'll make a hole. <laughs> We've got yeah, a bikini top. Kerry, you need to talk me through the look. Um, um, uh, um, do you recognise any of these pieces from the house? No. <laughs> She's actually been rendered mute. That okay, is Jamie, Amy's what is going on? Well, I'm not entirely, I think, I'm not sure we've seen the same film, to be honest. I'm, I don't think no one Remember, saw Barbed Wire. Yeah, but, I think uh, it was maybe straight to DVD. Um, well, so, the DVD I saw, she didn't definitely didn't have a load of hair down there. Sure, right. So you've gone for a leather look with a plastic bag. Well, I just bet. She I seems just bet to be wearing some on. PVC bustier. <laughs> Guys, have you actually seen the there. picture? Do you know? Yes, yeah. I have seen you the picture. Just, you just stripped this, Jen. Yes, I know. What is going down? I have no idea. Okay. But that's pretty. Do you want the hair? Oh, no. You want the hair? Um, I think you actually might have worn this belt, haven't you, Darren, in the Take This Challenge? Does I, that look familiar? Yes, I did. Yeah? Yes, it still smells the same as well. Now, Josie, what tactic are you using? I'm giving them a, a nice plastic bra. <laughs> okay. I okay. want you to call him babe. <laughs> okay, I just despair. I genuinely despair. Uh, well, while we try to uh, put a stop to this workplace bullying, uh, please feel free to peruse some adverts. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Sunday's Bet on the Side, asking questions about people living in a house and shit. Uh, we're all struggling to make sense of the week, like a well-loved centrefold sat in a hastily erected sauna, intently listening to a sex-crazed Geordie plumber. We've all been there, haven't we, guys? Yeah, we've yeah. all been there. Uh, before the break, we asked the teams to transform two models, weak of pulse, into the voluptuous Hollywood star of Barb Wire. Uh, to be honest, I've forgotten why. Uh, Josie and Darren, please release your wrinkly. Here we go. Uh, yeah. What do we lose? Can you yes. talk me through the look, step by step, please? Well, of course, the boobs, the uh, the sensational boobs, and of course, the ultimate barbed wire Love tattoo. Love the attention yes. to detail, yeah. The handbag, obviously, a much better band. Take this, <laughs> but it's usually around the other. The bit lipstick, of sensational, man. and of course, the blonde hair. The blonde hair is very important. And of course, isn't the it? wonderful garbage bag G string. Can we see? The, can we see the garbage bag G string? It's slightly being. She's uh, beautiful. beautiful. Protect your modesty. Oh, yes. I yes. Look at the back. Beautiful. Yes, you can't see, but there's some lovely flip-flops going on as well. Okay, that's got makeup alone. I think deserves points. Um, guys, over to you. I'm fearful. Uh, you're very creative with clothing, you guys. Okay. First of all, Wait, can we just say we're very happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, you can say that. Release your wrinkly, please. Shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Kerry. Uh, let's start with the top. What's the thinking behind the, the top area? Well, the top area is that they didn't go to the same surgeon, but uh, near enough, close enough. Uh, we've got the original proper bar wire around the arm. Is she a big the... icon for you? Is that what we're picking up on? Yeah, well, I, I really wanted to be Pamela Anderson. And obviously, it didn't end up like that. I ended up being Chaftastic Kerkatona. <laughs> but instead, oh. we've got the lovely blonde hair, the, the thick, peaceful yeah. eyeliner. What's the going beautiful... on in the beard, exactly? Well, I'm well, um... trying to disguise the fact that they actually had one, because Pamela hasn't got a beard. So you tried to sort of tipex it out with yeah. an array, with yeah. a little highlighter. Yeah. Right? Nice nipples, one, one looking at you, the other looking for you. Bit yeah. like the old. <laughs> He's said that before, hasn't he? He's definitely said that before. Uh, and we've, we've, we've created a gaffer tape basque. Yes. Okay. Similar to our Pam. A nice yes. cinching. Um, cinching. And a little device. belt area. I'm sure that Pam had a belt. And, yeah. and a, I don't sure think if... even Pam would wear such revealing pants, to be honest with you. It's That's an incredibly incredible risky. ball sack. I'll give him that. Yeah, it is. And, and, and we've, we've literally also got the same waist size. This yeah, very tiny little waist. Tiny okay. little waist. I, I, I almost asked this. for her autograph. <laughs> Kerry, you can have this if you want. You seem quite attached to it. You want it's this outfit? It's all yours. No, not oh, It's oh. all outfit. <laughs> it's all I'm going to get. <laughs> right, okay, this is... Oh, look, nice couple, I think. It's not a okay, It's time for the points. This is actually the hardest one that we've ever done. These are very, very good costumes. But I think the points have to go to... Just for the resemblance, Team Jamie. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Um, you're going to get some fun.
funny looks down the weather spoons tonight. Uh, Angel, so Angel of mine, what are the scores? Team Josie, 10, and oh, Team no. Jamie taking the big lead, 54. Oh, the big lead, yes. Be still, children, be still. Yes, it's my favorite time of the show now. Quick, Angel, run like the wind to your new position. It's time to play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, the game where you tell me whether something is more or less all the same. Team Josie, you're going first. Right. We want to know how... Right, <laughs> you're on it, right. Yeah. Uh, how many GCSEs our housemates have managed to achieve? Yes, yeah, some of them have actually managed to gain some academic qualifications. Yeah, it's shocking, shocking. Angel, reveal the first housemate, please. Ah, Tashi. Yeah. Space cadet. Before she went into the house, we asked her how many GCSEs she'd achieved. So, Angel, what did she say? Nine big ones. Oh. Quite, quite amazing mm. for a girl who thinks the president of England was George Ramsay. Uh, okay, so she's got six GCSEs. Uh, oh, nine. nine. She's got nine. I can't even tell numbers, so I've clearly not got any GCSEs. Uh, those exams must be a piece of piss. Uh, who's next, Angel? Maisie. Okay, Maisie. How many GCSEs can you get anyway? I think I think the sky <laughs> is the limit. Uh, <laughs> she wasn't smart oh, enough oh, to uh, oh, to make a bed in the house, but how many did she get? That's quite impressive. Okay, who have we got next? Okay, it's Arden. Now, we know he's from the streets, obviously. Yeah. He's well-educated in the way of the ladies. Uh, but did he get more or less or the same number of GCSEs? What do we think, guys? I, I think Macy's more? quite clever. Uh, I think he's less. Less. It's quite a lot that Maisie got. That seems quite hard yeah, to beat. Yeah, I think she's, a, I think she's the, you know, the one at school that she was, like, really good. Uh, uh, more, please. You can, less, more? Less. 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 Oh, no, less. 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 Let's see if you're right. Wake up, Angel. Okay. Yeah. It's exactly the same. Oh. Uh, he's actually one smart cookie. You'd have thought he'd have taught himself how not to act like an ob. Okay, what's up next, Angel? Ah, lovely, lovely yeah. Alex. She's obsessed yeah. with Barbie. Yeah. She has a chihuahua yeah. and wears more makeup than Amy Charles, but can she dispel no the dumb blonde way. stereotype? Less. I think more less. or less or the same. Yeah, I think less. Why do you think less? Uh, I don't, I, she's a bit like me. Right. <laughs> That's not true. You are much brighter than Alex, surely. Okay, so you're saying less. I've got any. What are you saying, less? Less. Let's see if you're right. Oh! Yay! Yay! Um, who have we got to compete with Alex, please? Oh, Mark. Mark, 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 Mark. Uh, do you know Mark. what? I think Mark's uh, actually a lot cleverer than what he's making out. Me too. So I, I think Mark's actually got more. You think more? He asked Pammy if she'd rather have lobster claws for hands or pogo sticks for legs. He thinks so do you think that's right? Mickey, Obviously, though. I think it's more. He's a deep thinker. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let's see if you're right. Is it more? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bravo to Team Josie. Did quite well there. Now your turn, Jamie and Kerry. We're talking knowledge of another kind now. Carnal. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. How many people do our housemates claim they've made the two-backed beast with? Uh, before going into the house, they told us how many people they'd slept with. Uh, let's have the first one, please. Okay, it's Louise. Lovely, lovely Louise. Uh, what so are you thinking? She's a hottie, but she says blokes never chat her up. So how many fellas have whisked her off her feet, took her down the chippy, and then got down to business? Oh, oh does she? We get the first one, don't we? She's young. Remember, they're young. They're all you young. Get do not get the first one? We see the first one, don't we? Let's oh. see how many she said. Four. Five. Fire loss. <laughs> Do you think it's more than that? I think it's a bit of a fib? Yeah, I say that to her board as well. Good five. She's <laughs> <laughs> a nice film, Kelly. And I've got four kids. <laughs> what do you think, Jamie? Do you like her? Uh, do I like her? Yeah. She seems a very pleasant young lady, yes. She seems quite... Oh, something just smashed my, to the ground. That was shock. Ass. That was like five. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you, think, do you think she's probably one of the more... I'm going to say... No, I think she's telling the truth. Loving though. characters in the house. Well, okay, um, let's see who she's up against. Okay, ooh. the wrestler. It is, of course, Faye. Another gorgeous girl. But how many fellas do you think she's uh, had I, her way with? I actually think it's less. Than five. Why do you think less? How old is she? Young. They're all young. No, you see, I think. I would say more. No. more. How many more. people has she got into a 
got half Nelson. Oh, oh good one. Or the crab. <laughs> that, that's all I know. <laughs> I only know one wrestling move. Um, no, I think I think Faye's I think Faye's a quite quite a a coy little character. soul, I think, so I more. think it might be less. Well, you know women better than I do, Well, I, I really actually don't. Are you saying more? <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you like to go more? Let's go more. Let's see if you're right. Okay, do you go more. How many is it, please? <gasps> oh, it's actually less, but not by much. God, okay. my reputation's God, we need gone. Jay. Oh, it's we need Faye Jay next. Angel. We need Jay next. Oh. Oh, okay, God. it's Tom. He's not decided if he likes boys or girls yet, but that doesn't stop him <coughs> trying before buying. And this is buying. a combination of both. Uh, has it? Tom slept with more or less or the same number as Faye? Uh, oh. It's got to be more, surely. What do the audience think? How many? Oh. Yes. Yes. Does that include oh. his own hands? Oh. So, so we're including both men and women in the it's same a sum? It's a lovely, yeah, combination of the two. Um, so, uh, he, he's very likeable, I think. He is likeable, but he, he strikes me as a bit of a... Fridge. He looks like you, a cry. You just snorted, Josie. Is that you thinking that... No, because I just see my half-sister in the audience going... Pouting. <laughs> more. <laughs> it's the more pout. It's quite funny. Perhaps that came from your half. <laughs> oh, it's turned dark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Okay, we've well, got to go more. Let's Gonna go, go more? Yeah, let's try more. Okay, let's see. Angel, they're saying oh, more. Bloody hell. 25 oh, big ones. Wow. Yes. He <laughs> likes his boys, he likes his girls. Okay, this chap does not discriminate. That was, just in case you wanted to know the divide, uh, 10 men, 15 girls. Uh, okay, who's up next, please, Angel? Anton, all right. He's, he's already been chatting at Conquest with Arden. Yeah, I, he was I impressed, that one. impressed by the younger whippersnappers total. But how many notches has he accumulated? Whatever he is told the researchers, it's going to be <laughs> far that. less. Do you think half? <laughs> half that and take a zero off as well. I think okay. he's actually more than twenty-five. Well, he, okay, so so it's, it's what, it, but it's whatever. Right, because he said forty-nine. Oh, I'll watch that bit. Don't forget, it could be a trick question. He could be a virgin. No, I think we've got to go with whatever more they've said rather than what same. we think. So I reckon he is. I reckon he's said that it's more. What than figure 25. do you think he said? Yeah. Uh, I reckon he's gone for but fifty plus. Really? Because he would have revealed it to, to a, the house, to, to Arden. Uh, yeah. Arden. Well, let's yeah. see if it is in fact more. It's a whopping 40 Whoa. too. Yes, yes. He's not been saving himself at yeah. all. And who's, it is two, really. Who's yeah. final on our board of uh, sexy people? We have Jay, OK? Apparently, he was voted the best looking lad in Newcastle. Uh, sources are unconfirmed by on that. Not by me, no. Just by somebody that wrote this card that thinks he's a sex guard. OK. But is the tattooed, permatanned, muscle Mary look something that girls go for? Do you think he's had a lot? I mean... No. We've got to fill a bit here, but it's obvious that there's going to be thousands, isn't it? How many do you think? <laughs> but I think he might be a bit of a player, play it down a little bit to look like no, a... No, I guarantee you, he would... Maybe, well, maybe he's a sensitive soul at heart, and actually he's not slept with that many. Maybe he, a virgin. But I think he has slept with loads, but... Oh, OK, oh, I need a decision. No, the, he would fuck a loaf of bread if he had the chance. I'll go for, I'll go for more. OK, let's see, please, Angel. See that that's a thousand lasses and two Thai lady boys. Uh, OMG. So yeah, Jay. I think Jay pretty much wins that and has probably shagged the entire population of Newcastle, the yeah. females at least, and two lucky people in Phuket. Okay, um, <laughs> Kerry, do you fancy destroying him? How old is he? Yeah, that's the big question. Isn't it? <laughs> that says it all. That says it all. Angel, you've dashed back. You're yes. speeding those scores onto the board, but what are they looking like? Okay, Josie is getting better. It's 25. But Jamie is still at the lead. Come on! Yes. He is indeed at the lead. After the break, I'll be asking more questions and they'll be answering them. Uh, Angel will be giving the scores and I'm presuming Jamie will be offending at least one of the panel. Why change a winning format? Plus, yeah. we have exclusive news and one of these teams will win a mystery Money Can't Buy star prize item taken directly from the Big Brother house. Oh, we'll see you after the break. Welcome back to 
Sunday's bit on the side, kind of a halfway house for ex-housemates with a buzz around. Uh, you can literally taste the tension in the air. Can you take, lick it, go on, taste it. Mm. Or it's maybe just the residue of those two old fellas still lingering, so probably wouldn't, wouldn't eat that. Uh, team Jamie are currently so far ahead, there seems to be little point in carrying on. I mean, like Anton said, I think we should just all play spin the bottle and uh, get off with each other. Maybe yeah. not, maybe not, let's not do that. Uh, but time now for some exclusive Big Brother news. This shiz has literally just happened. In a moment, I'll be asking you questions about it. No point wishing you'd swatted up now, Kerry, because this is complete guesswork anyway. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Josie and Darren, here's your first question that you couldn't possibly know the answer to. You don't need your buzzer, so just put it down. You said it was a buzzer ring. Did oh. I? It's not. Uh, <laughs> at 9.39 this morning, who was riding Jay in the garden? Oh, dirty little mink. Uh, Dirty little monks. I, um, I think um, that... I, Who would want to pounce on him, do you think? I think... Is it male or female? I can't Don't give you clues, Aaron. <coughs> I think um, Tashi... Tashi! That was a very quick decision. I think Tash, do, you want, do you want to confirm? No. <laughs> Why do you think Tashi? Ta she's she's quite, very bendy. She's quite forward at this stage. Do you know, you, do you know what I mean? She's, she's a bit forward. up in your grill. Yeah, either Tash... Who else do you think, Derek? Who would probably oh. want to get... I think, um... It could be the boys or something. Use, oh, no, use, your, own, a stripper. use your own feelings. Oh. Who would you maybe want to ride? Um... A horse. <laughs> a horse. Well, there's no horse. You're going to have to okay. pick one of those 14. Uh, I think... Do you think Tashi? Yeah. I think Tash you both think Tashi. Tashi, yeah. Let's see if you're right. Push the, mate, you push the milk man off your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably leave him on for free milk. <laughs> <laughs> see if I can do a press-up with you on your back. Oh. This is a good fairground, Mark. That's fit, though. Oh, round of applause. He's like a little baby all curled up. Apparently, I'm just hearing he's in fact still there now on his back. So, he's had a really nice little sleep. Uh, what do you make of Mark? A little bit odd. A little bit like a turtle. I, I really like him. He was really sweet when I met him at the audition. Yeah, because he was chatting you up. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, I watched the last couple of nights, and I think I think he's going to be a really good housemate. I really yeah. I think like he, him, he yeah. might kind of shuffle things around a bit. Yeah, yeah OK. Cool. Uh, next news item, Team Jamie. Oh, thanks for that. Uh, at 10.35 a.m. today, what act does Jay perform on Mark when they're naked together in the shower? These two, what are they like? What act? Are you what feeding act? me these questions on purpose? I'm not trying to get you into trouble when at all. When they're naked in the shower. You heard me correctly, Kerry. It's not just your wild fantasies running riot. Oh, nightmare. <laughs> um, the same two men we've just seen cavorting in the garden, but naked in a shower, what, sudsy. What act do they perform? I reckon that... It's not an act from, like, King Lear. It's an act, Fine. a physical act. Um... <laughs> Well, They're not fair. Kiss chase. Mark's off, Kiss chase. Mark's off, it's slippy. Mark's obviously mummy in the pair, isn't he? So I reckon that Mark would have been washing What's his back. What's your mum like? Washing his back. Oh, I do not make my mum. Yeah, yeah, I think he's washing his back. Washing his legs. Mark's washing. What, legs? Washing his back. OK. Oh, Let's them. see if you're right. Let's have a look. Can you just scrub my back with that scrubber? And I'll just bomb. So look, I, just, I just want to see what it's like to have a really, really big eye man do it. Getting back scrubbed <laughs> by a big, muscly man. That is yes. brilliant. That is awesome. Well done. You two are clearly deep into the psyche of our new housemates. Um, Kerry, who would you like to scrub down in the Big Brother house? Depends how old they are. <laughs> There's only one 19-year-old that I know of. He'll do. Arden. OK, so Arden's your man. Um, any young kids... It, no. <laughs> <laughs> are there any young teenagers? Uh, I'd say we'd cut it out, but it's live. Um, OK, are we, seeing, young teenagers. are we seeing the start of a beautiful relationship here? A bit of a bromance, do we think, between I these I think two? so, yeah. They're both, Mark they're both, and Jay. Yeah, I think they're going to get on like a house on fire. Um, that was quite intimate, so early on. I mean, it was, what, less than 24 hours? <laughs> and they're and already, already cocked out. Yeah, like got up Paddy, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Would you have he rode my... I'd never made the cut, but he, he was riding my back at one stage. Isn't he? <laughs> right, good. Yeah. Say that to his face. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be our buzzer next week. OK, news item three for you guys. At 2.30pm today, Pammy gave the housemates a new task. But who won? Um... 
Who looks uh, like a winner? Um, oh, thinking. right. Oh, oh, it was yeah. um, Competitive Aiden. people. Oh. Have we got Bullock? Was Bullock? Was what did you say? No, no buzzer. Well, Mark was no. in the shower then. He actually looked like he had a massive torch. Did he? Yeah, so I think I'll take line... your word for it. Yeah, but you've just seen it. I was concentrating at the job at hand. But right, sorry. Um, I reckon it was Aiden. Aiden. You're thinking Arden. Arden. Okay, let's um, see if you're right. Aiden. Are you guys ready to run in slow motion on the spot? Yes! yes. Of course! Okay. <laughs> Anton, you are out. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh yeah. Fucking oh, yeah. Maisie. Okay, final question for Jamie and Kerry. This afternoon at 4.36pm, Faye, Maisie and Louise went to the diary room and put in a request, but what was it for? Uh, I can't have run out of cigarettes already, can Surely I? not. What Faye, Maisie mean? and who was it? Tampax. Faye, Maisie and Louise. <laughs> You'd hope they'd remembered that. Is that your final answer, Team Jamie? No, it is no. not. <laughs> that's not. That's not been approved. You were sure of my request. I'm going to have to push you for one. What, 4.30? Booze. It's got no. Uh, what would you have missed in there, do you think? Kat? At 4. <laughs> at 4.36. Precisely. What were you longing at 4 for? At 4.36, what did you always think you wanted? Theory. <laughs> what, did you, what were you deprived of? Chocolate. 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 Let's go Should we see chocolate. if it's right? Yeah. Let's have a look. Chocolate cake. We need some eye candy. We need some men. So can we have some hunks just for like a couple of hours trunks. come in? Hunks in yeah. trunks. Hunks in trunks. Yeah. Oh. Same, ah, it was a different kind of candy. It was eye candy. Okay. Uh, Jamie, is anyone going to get together in the house? Do you think? Because uh, they want some hot boys. Yeah. I think yes. I think actually, I think Maisie will do anything to not get evicted. <laughs> do anyone to not get evicted, possibly. <laughs> OK, and that was today's news you couldn't possibly have known until now. Angel, what the hell are the scores? OK, Team Josie still remains at 25, oh, and oh. Team Jamie is taking great lead at Come on! <laughs> of course, everything could change as we hit the final round. If you're a Pammy fan, you're in luck. OK, guys, oh, oh. fingers on buzzers now, and I've been raring to go on them. Five points for a correct answer. What was Pamela's character called in Baywatch? I should have been dead a number of Team times. Team Josie. Come on, Darren. Come on, Darren. I'm going to pass it over. I'll go on the tip of my tongue. Um, oh, duck. Team Jamie. Um, the answer is... CJ. The answer is CJ Parker. Oh, oh, I'm going to give it to them. I'm going to give yes. it to them. Yes. Oh, how many, oh, how many children... Shush. Never touch the hammer. How many children does Pamela Anderson oh, have? Duck. Team Three. Jamie. The answer's two. Oh. What is Pamela Anderson's natural hair colour? Fuck her dog. Team Jamie. Brown. Brunette, correct. Don't call me babe was Pamela's famous quote from which film time. team Jamie? Correct. Yeah! According to Pamela's website, what does she love? Fuck her dog. No, no, it's not. Well, fucking she a number of times. Oh. Animals. No, the answer obviously is architecture. Uh, Pamela is a member of which animal-loving organisation? Team Jamie. Peter. I Correct. should have been dead a number of times. I know you should have. How many times has Pammy graced the front cover of American Fuck Playboy? Team Jamie. But I knew that was 13. I should have been dead a number Correct. of times. Correct. I know you should have. In 1997, <laughs> Pamela Anderson won a Razzie Award. Which category was it for? A silence. Fuck a Razzie. Doc. Kerry. <laughs> it was close. I'm not giving you the points. It was worth New Star. Um, how many hours did Pammy know Tommy Lee for before they got married? Oh, good doc. Team Don't Jamie. Leave me. Are we uh, on you? Twelve. The answer was actually 96. Can we hear that again? Don't leave me. Are we on you? All right. Sorry. Okay. Fine. <laughs> that familiar noise means we're at the end of the round and the end of the quiz. Aww. Aww. So it's over to Angel for the all important final scores. Okay. And the important scores is Team Josie 30 and Team Jamie. Yeah. Well, this week's winners are clearly Team Jamie, which means you have the chance to take home one of this week's three star prizes. Okay, you could win. Love this music. Uh, the couches from Pammy's VIP area delivered to your lounge. Ooh. The bath shaped like an egg fitted to your bathroom. Ooh. Still with Jedward scum. Or soiled golden swim shorts. Mm. Can you please pick an envelope? Can you pick that? We'll donate this to uh, all of Josie's fans on Twitter that will be crying into their cereal. Clearly. <laughs> okay. Be what there. did you get? The spunky shorts. Spunk was not mentioned. Yes. What did you get? Not the soiled golden <laughs> swimming <laughs> shorts. <laughs> lovely, lovely. But how do you feel about that? 
Darren do you want them back? They're yeah, mine. <laughs> are they oh. oh, are they? So, Kerry... Oh, are you... Darren, they really are as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> not very happy. Uh, that's it for this evening. Thanks to all my guests. Don't miss tomorrow's bit on the side. When Anna gets to meet Pamela Anderson. Oh, it's not wow. fair. I've been asked.